Hey guys, uh, I promise this is the last video of me moving around with different setups. I I just I just keep messing around with my tripod. That's uh, the main reason why. But um, today I'm gonna show you the tutorial for uh, the trick I posted yesterday. And um, first I'll go through the setup on top of the deck. You're gonna want the king of spades, and then you want your other two red kings somewhere in the middle. Their exact location does not matter. Then you need this little gem right here, a double-faced card. Now mine is a king of clubs and a diamonds, but it really doesn't matter as long as you have the king of clubs. So you want to put that with the king side facing this, facing up with the rest of the deck like this. So king facing up on the bottom of the deck. Or if you don't have a double-sided card, you know just uh, put the king of clubs face up on the bottom like this and you won't be able to show the deck as I'm doing right now. So what you can do is you can go through the deck, say I have a normal deck of cards and they release everything normal because another two more little tips remove uh, this normal card if you're using a double back card or double faced like I took the ace of diamonds out of my deck so when I go through the cards they won't see two ace of diamonds. Another thing is I put the king of clubs close to the bottom of the deck so that the spectator won't select it in uh, in the performance. So then, you know, show, just show it's normal deck of cards. Then say, well, I'm going to take out the two red kings, and they're going to help me with this trick. So you'll take out the kings, flip the deck over. Careful not to flash the bottom if you have. Yeah, careful not to flash the bottom. So then, what you want to do is you want to get a break under this by showing the kings, and flip them over like this, and do a sandwich load really quickly. So now you have your king of spades in between the two black, two uh, red kings. So you're gonna turn. You want to turn both these cards over the same exact way. So you take your single and turn it over like this, and turn it back face down, set down, and then you're gonna take a double, and it'll show it like this. And set it down, but you're really setting down the king of spades. So then at this point you need the card selected. So try to keep it near the upper half of the deck. And again, you don't want to get to too far in the bottom where that king of clubs is. Plus, you don't want them to see the card face up at the bottom. So, you know, it really, this is a free choice for the most part. And it is the three of spades. So you take this, the card, put it face up in between the two kings. And say, you know, that we leave the three face up sandwich between the two red kings. And while you do that, just turn, risk kill the deck, and get a break on the next card. And you'll square it all up, and then you flip it over, the card's now gone. Now this part, just you can show it cleanly, but you have to be careful. Because, you know, you can cleanly show that it's gone, but the next card down is the king of spades, so you don't want to flash that. So just be careful about it, and then just leave those two out, because you don't want to put them back in the deck and uh, possibly mess up the next move, which is just a simple swing cut. But then I'm going to spread them out, kind of like this. Uh, I was actually performing this the other day, and I forgot to take the kings out, so the kings were in the sandwich too. So you want to be careful of that. And then, you know, just let me show that now their card is in there. Another little key uh, tip for this part is you can't show their backs at this. So just you've got to be really careful about that, you know, just maybe set them all down like this. And then whenever you're done, just collect them all up. So that is the tutorial for, what is it called, Kingdom Come. And if you like the tutorial, if you want to see more tutorials, uh, give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you next time.